Did you know, it takes three years for the average person to let go of their intrusive thoughts. But it just takes two seconds seeing Big Ed's titty fat to completely mess that up. Have a look. Titty fat. Titty fat. Titty fat. Lag, 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 lag. Hi everyone, we're back at it. It's Big Ed. Big Ed is a television reality star from the series 90 Day Fiance. Years ago, when we were all in lockdown and had nothing else to do, he came to prominence because he didn't have a neck, but somehow still refused to let his ego let him down and started befriending girls who were way younger and way hotter than him. He also proceeded to disrespect them in every way possible. But there is one thing that I know that most people don't. Reality television star Big Ed and Liz are getting married. Finally set a wedding date. But I also happen to know some insider info. They don't make it. And I went on to both of their Instagram profiles. Liz has a new man because those are not Big Ed's hands. What you're about to see is a movie like the Titanic. You know what's gonna happen at the end. You just wanna see how it gets there. And this series is designed to do that. So today I'm just gonna be taking a look to see how they messed it up to the point that they're no longer together. I didn't think they were gonna last this long. And I really wanna see what happened to make them call it quits for good. Are you stressed out? I know I get stressed out a lot. And I also start wearing beanies because I worry that the stuff on top of my head might be going away the more I try and pull it out. That's why I wanna introduce you to Keeps, where you can get professional hair care for hair loss from the comfort of your own home without ever having to go to a doctor or pharmacy. Now I've talked about Keeps a number of times on my channel, but here are some of the points I think are the best. Keeps is convenient. Like I said before, you don't have to go to a pharmacy or doctor to get it. It's always more comfortable doing things from home. All treatment plans are personalized and recommended by someone who's a licensed medical practitioner and treatment is delivered right to your door on your schedule. Keeps offers treatments that are clinically proven to work. According to clinical studies, treatments offered by Keeps are 90% effective at treating hair loss and increase hair growth by up to 35%. Keeps is loved and trusted. To date, Keeps has helped over 1 million men keep their hair. It also has over 5,000 five-star reviews with photos of the before and after. And of course, Keeps is discreet. They deliver packages to you in non-branded packaging and you can message the Keeps team anytime through their secure messaging portal. Thanks to Keeps for sponsoring this video and for the free product. Head to keeps.com slash 16leo to get a special offer. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash 16leo. Individual results may vary. Oh, by the way, I'm so sorry for showing you his titty fat. So to make up for it, here's his titty fat. Constant trolling. All right, cool. Oh my God, he looks like an egg. <laughs> you know, Beyonce released that album, Cowboy Cotto. She looks really good in that uh, cowboy hat. Big Ed released a fart. That's good too. Stop. Why does he always look like he's never in control of his own body? Is that just me or like whenever he's sitting on things, he's just like, he looks like he's uncomfortable perpetually. So the title card then plays and we see a huge age difference. Big Ed is approaching 60 years old and Liz is just 30. The age gap I think is 27 years. And I do wanna compliment Big Ed on one thing and I maintain this. I think he looks good for his age. Some people look like a rough 60. I think he looks good. And that is the last compliment I have for a while, so. Black lightning, black lightning, black lightning. Ah, so this, is the, this is the fat sex. If you put a penis between them, they'd be ball sex. You know what I mean? Like, when they invented those shirts, they should have been like, hey, if it spills out the sides, you can't, you can't wear it, man. If you have a plate and food spills out, you don't get the same plate, you get a bowl. You gotta cover that shit up, man. There's kids there. I told you, you weren't allowed to get one of these. The shirt? Which part? Which, which one? That, are you seeing the titty sacks in the one? They're hard not to look at. I got it. I'm sorry. I told you you weren't allowed to get one of these. I know, but I borrowed it from Jack. <laughs> <laughs> we automatically think there's going to be some sort of fight within the first five seconds because this is what they're known for. The shirt's never going back. That's his from now on. But the lawnmower probably also never going back because the weight distribution. Peace. I don't know if that guy wants it back. We also get a first look at Liz's daughter, Riley, who's now in the series. And I am just 
sad the TLC did this. She's been growing up without the cameras in her face. And I kind of wish whoever made that decision kept that decision. I don't know if she's gonna grow up and be like, this was a cringy series. I hope that nothing happens, of course, but there's a chance that people could be like, ah, Big Ed almost was your dad. <laughs> I remember those titty sacks. I'm Ed, I'm 58 years young, and I'm from San Diego, California. Oh my God, she look, this looks like a mom and a son. This guy looks like he has a mini head. What? Is the shirt big or is his head small? What am I... Why does her head look so much bigger than... My name's Liz. I'm 31 years hey. old. And what is your favorite sexual position? Mother of the... God, okay. This is why I didn't want Riley in the series. You need to look back and be like... <sighs> we can look back. This is not my parents. If it was, I'd blow my brains out, man. Then Big Ed makes this face. Wow. I don't know what's happening there. There's some sort of science going on where his eyes are getting, being compressed into his head. What's wrong with the one that we have? Because you actually have to work to push it. Yes, and I was sweating way too much. So it looks like Big Ed and Liz are now trying to live a more rural life, something away from the city, because they think all their problems start in the city. city don't know how or why or what that is. Liz and I have moved to my hometown, Arkansas, and it's going pretty good. I actually made a list. Dessert tonight. That's the saying from Arkansas. Dessert tonight. And if you say that anywhere else, they'll be like, Dessert tonight. What? What are you Dessert saying? Tonight. Oh my God. Do you want to have sex? Dessert tonight. She <laughs> the guts out of me. <laughs> That's a common saying there. Can I get two bananas? She fucked the guts out of me. No. All right. D Dessert tonight. Hey, Riley, sit right here. Sit right here, baby. Uh, then Big Ed tries to kill uh, Liz's daughter for some reason by making her sit on the lawnmower where you shouldn't be sitting. And then they start like rolling. It's like a Disney movie where the villain captures the kid. I'm definitely living the dream out here in Arkansas. Said no one ever. Being together on and off for three years, engaged for two, we have finally set a wedding date. Oh my God, once she says it, it just like every time it slips my mind. And when it comes back, I am just so shocked. We've been on and off for three years, engaged, engaged for two for of two. those. And you're still getting married. Would you not want that to be secure? If you had a boat that sometimes sank, would you take it out to sea? Do you know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't. In two months, we are getting married. There's gonna be a lot of disappointed people in two months. Holy Yep. <laughs> We're working. <laughs> I like how TLC added the sound effects there because they couldn't convince us that the kid was having fun because she looks like she's scared. And they put that stock effect of a kid laughing. That's good. Good work, TLC. In all, I think we've known each other about four years. Four years, three of them were fighting, two of them spent engaged. Two months, you're going to get married. Probably two months later, divorced. That sounds like a just good work, Big Ed. By the way, he's 60 and doing this. I was in love with Liz since the day I met her. I didn't like Ed when I met him. Again, that checks out. That's just very, that checks out very well. I really didn't place confidence in her and I ever becoming anything other than, you know, a friendship. Hold up, rewind. <laughs> I was in love with Liz since the day I met her. Did he not just say that from the minute he saw her, he loved her or something. And then he said, I just wanted to be her friend. She was just a girl that he met at a restaurant and not even like sitting across the table. She was his waitress. She had to talk to him. So then we revisit the best scene of all time, Ed and Liz oh, kissing. <laughs> we even tried intensive therapy that we went to in Florida. Please don't call it intensive therapy. It's a reality television show and all you guys did was argue. Liz and I were constantly, you know, would make up and break up. D you, f you made up and broke up? Shocker. At least I had your bag and didn't have a problem trying to jump in to protect you. I you, Ed. Therapy's working, babe. This is like someone's cash cow. Whoever's having therapy in Arkansas just got a lot richer because of them. The changes that I've made to be a better partner is what saved our relationship. Name one, I dare you. I have been watching you, unfortunately, for way too long, and I know there are no changes. I don't see them. You have matured so much. I don't believe that shit. All right, fine, let me play the devil's advocate. He's a bit less... 
jealous. I think they're more secure in their relationship. That's why I thought for a brief period of time they could have made it work. And then I realized they fight over everything at every point in time. And uh, I don't know about that. Coming here, we have learned about our temperaments. It's my favorite thing he does is that weird, like, upside down. Like... Coming here, we have... It's the head nod and then, but he's frowning, but he's, like, happy. But he doesn't know that, like, a smile goes this way and he's doing it backwards. And it's just a very confusing face. You're like, are you hungry, horny, sad, all of the above? What are you, which one? Will you marry me? Will? Wow. Yes, I will marry you. Will? I repress that. I, I was watching that. I was like, what? I fully forgot that they ended the therapy by being the only couple to make it out of that without a big fight. I mean, they did have a big fight, but they ended in a good way. Why? Is it because he couldn't get down on one knee? Communication has definitely been much better, but Ed still loves to hear his own voice. Hey, it's a beautiful voice. <laughs> sure. Um, it seems like things are going well. They're going to get married in two months. There's been a lot of ups and downs, but apparently there's been a lot of growth as well. So maybe I'm wrong. But there is another twist to this thing. They're not just getting married. They're going into business together. We're going to make bracelets. How exciting. Can somebody read the instructions? There is no instructions. You just make bracelets. Uh, what the hell? You need instruction for that, bro. Riley has come to stay with us. It's fun because she likes to do fun things. We both love board games and... A beautiful scene. Daughter with mom and grandpa, all enjoying family time. So, Riley, you know the wedding's coming up, right? Yeah. So I'm marrying your mommy. I want to be your stepdad. So while the couple is making bracelets with Liz's daughter, Ed and Liz both decide this is the opportune time to try and talk to her and be like, hey, do you know that we're getting married? This is not just going to be the creepy troll guy who lives here sometimes. This is now going to be your dad. Would you be okay with that? Yeah. Because I love you. I'm done. Yep, that's the appropriate answer. Good work, Riley. I love you. Let me get back to these beats now. But Ed's always been the fun uncle, and Ed's going to be a stepdad now, and that's gonna come with a whole new deal of responsibilities. Well, that's weird. Don't confuse her, now you're confusing me. This is Uncle Ed, but he's gonna be your dad. He's my daddy, but he's also a dad to a daughter who's my age. But no, he doesn't fuck her. Riley, that's stupid. Anyway, he's also probably a grandpa. We just don't know. His mom doesn't talk to us. Yeah, because she doesn't like me because I'm fucking him. Uh, yes, Uncle Ed, I'm fucking Uncle Ed, but he will be your daddy. I mean, my daddy. Do you understand? Kid, where'd she go? Bye. Mommy? Yes. Ed. She blew me a kiss. She's a very, very cute kid. These two dorks are going to ruin that for her. I don't wish anything bad on any of these couples. I wish all of them would make it work and I wouldn't have a damn thing to say about them. But unfortunately, we're here. I am really trusting Ed that he's up for the challenge, especially with Ed being 58 now. She said, especially. Especially is a special thing that you say when your ex is going to be your husband. Yep, you're gonna marry him and you're like, especially that guy. I hate everyone, especially him. I'm excited about the wedding, it's close. We are a family now, it's great. We both love each other. Oh, uh, there's that other classic Big Ed pose when he sits to the side. He leans, <laughs> he leans with it, bro. I remember these. It's all coming back to me now. It sh I didn't want it to come back to me, but it is. I feel a huge, you, you know, sense, sense of, of accomplishment. accomplishment. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to say something. <laughs> I don't know. I feel a huge... <laughs> when we get stressed, that's when we argued. And in the past, a little argument could lead to a breakup. It's a big deal to commit yeah okay so this is the thing when you're happy with someone that you have good chemistry with and like that's fantastic it's a great thing isn't it but conceivably speaking you probably have good chemistry with a handful of people the thing is when stuff like stress or days that are not good are happening are you going to be able to open up to a person are you going to be able to confide in them do you feel comfortable with them can you guys fight without uh having this energy that's like okay I am gonna fight with you back and we're just gonna argue and balloon this to a problem. Or are we gonna make this work? That's the stuff that probably makes any relationship successful. Okay, when I'm stressed, that's when we fight. It's like, all right, that's worth addressing because that's probably going to save your relationship if you want it to be saved, unless you can't. 
I don't know why I'm saying this. They, they're never gonna make it, I don't know. And I've been through a divorce. Liz has been through two, so. <laughs> she caught us <it> straight. <laughs> I've been through a divorce. She's half my age, been through twice as many. Pfft, bitch, woo! If I divorce her, she'll be like Ross from Friends. It's not something that we want to do again. Divorce. It's not something you want to do again. Big Ed should be a divorce lawyer. Divorce. It's not something you want to do again. So come to Big Ed. This way I'll keep your marriage intact. Sure you won't be happy, but you also won't be divorced. So what time's our client coming? She should be here any moment. Ah, uh, here it is. Like I said, these two are going into business together. And you can't possibly pick the business that they're going into. What did you say? Clothes line? What? That's not even a thing. They are going into property together because that is what all couples do when they don't know what to do. It's like taking business when you don't know what to do at university. Oh, I don't know what to do. Guess I'll be Steve Jobs. All right. So they're going into, I don't know if either of them has sold a house. I don't even know if they bought a house. Moving to Arkansas, both Ed and I are living off our savings. I gave up my partnership in the restaurant in San Diego. It is really unfortunate that Liz actually gave up a very good position in which she walked and built up so she could move for someone. She sacrificed a lot. I, I would put love over a career for many aspects. I think it is very important to have a career, but you have to also realize why you're having that career. And so she gave it up for Ed, which seems like the craziest thing anyone would do, but all power to her. Now they're living off their savings and they have to start doing business. So Big Ed suggests let's become real tours. Liz and I are planning to become real tours so we can start working as a team to list homes and sell homes. Real tours. I guess they did. Okay. Well, hello. Well, hello. This is my fiance. <laughs> also known as Liz and Mommy. Okay, well, don't say that to every client uh, unless you really want to sell the house. But yeah, okay. Um, their first client is the daughter of Liz for some reason. I guess they're doing a run through of the house. They need to just... Try and sell it, because you know, if you can sell a kid a home, you can sell a, a grown man a home, I guess. That classic saying that nobody says. Here is the, um, it's kind of an open plan format. We have um, our living room. Would you buy a house from a frog who's dressed up like a human being for Halloween? It's kind of an open plan format. I can say that about anything that has no fucking walls in it. This is a four bedroom, two bedroom, four tube, tube, four bath. Is there anything Liz that I left out? Brand new house. Nobody's lived here before. Never mind. Liz is worse. Liz is worse. I was just about to say this dude is not doing a justice. Is there anything I left out? It's uh, brand new and uh, I'd live in it if I could afford it. But I guess this is your call, so. Fit for a family who doesn't fight. And a man with a neck, anyway. So why do you like living here? We love the area. Do you like the mountain bike? No. If somebody would have told us that- Oh, he got real shocked by the fact that she doesn't like to mountain bike. He didn't even know what to say. He had a whole speech ready if she was good at mountain biking. But seeing as she isn't, he was shocked and wasn't prepared for that situation. If somebody would have told us that we both are gonna be real estate agents. A year ago, I would have said you're full of Right shit. now, I'm saying you guys are full of shit, so I don't, I don't know. We're both in the same page here. There's no way I'm moving. There's no way I'm getting married. There's no way we're gonna live in a house. There's no way we'll have three dogs. There's no way we'll have three dogs. Damn. <laughs> that list dropped off. Like, there's no way I would have been a real estate agent, been married, have a house live in a house. If you told me I'd be homeless, a bum, taking a shit in my house, which is my car, I would have said, yep. How did we do? Okay, mommy should have done some of the talking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. She should have, but she wasn't really enthusiastic and it felt like she didn't want to sell the home so much as she wanted to uh, burn it down. Do you think mommy and Ed are gonna get along in business together? <laughs> That's a perfect answer. That's it. That's exactly right. 100% best answer. Um, I'm like 11. I don't, I can't solve your problems, okay? Please. I feel like real estate would be a good business to go into with each other, but I'm also nervous. We've tried to work together before. Oh yeah, I completely forgot one time Liz 
tried to aid or assist Big Ed on a picture. And for whatever reason, Liz got super jealous. And I guess she was just saying some mean stuff about her friend, which Big Ed just tried to be professional about, even though he's never professional and probably a little pervy. Both of them just... It looks like she has no neck. No, there's nothing wrong with this picture at all. Okay, well... Another memory repressed. But now they're trying to sell houses together. Imagine trying to take a picture together and you can't. So then you move on to houses. I feel like this is just great for Ed and I. Ed has so many strengths in sales. Does he have strength in sales? I've seen this man. I've seen his cameos. I've bought one. I made a video trying to be like him. It was... Bleh. By the way, you should check that video out. I've seen him sell merch. And it's horrible, so... If he's as good at that as he is as selling houses, you guys are going to be sitting on 34 properties in debt. So are you ready to make an offer? I'll do it. You'll no. do it? Yes, as long as yeah. the parents will come with the house. Okay, so at the end, they asked Riley if she'd buy the house, and she says yes, as long as you fuckers aren't in it. Someone protect Riley at all costs. Well, it's a pleasure doing business with you. We'll give Ms. You Wood. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I can already imagine Big Ed taking off his jacket before the dudes even leave the house. They'll be like, ah, it's nice seeing you, Mr. Thompson. And he takes it off, they're like, by the way, why do you have a singlet with titty fat hanging out? But I think we'll be a good balance because you're very serious. So you'll cover all of the logistics. And you'll cover all the surface area. I'm sorry. The legal stuff like, oh, I want the TV. She wants the TV. That has to be in the in the in the offer i don't even know what he's saying i don't i don't never even heard that <laughs> is the tv gonna come with the house yeah the house costs eight hundred thousand uh, dollars yeah we'll throw the five hundred dollar tv okay but if if the tv doesn't come with the house i'm not buying the house i i'm pretty sure you can afford one if you can buy a house. i don't want this house you're not giving me the tv you're promising me a house with no tv next year you're gonna tell me it doesn't come with a bed and the furniture <laughs> So. What are you gonna take the windows out, you bitch? <laughs> Since Liz and I have moved to Arkansas, we've kind of been living off savings. Big house. We have a big wedding, not only to plan for, but to pay for. Oh, yeah, that's right. They're going into business and planning the wedding. <laughs> like piling all this shit up into one. Why, why do this? Why not go into business after you do the wedding? Why not get married first and then be like, all right, now we can say we're husband and wife and we can sell you a house. Ah, uh, meet me and my brand new spouse and you're going to get a house. Get a slogan. I want to give Liz the best wedding possible and I don't really want to tell her that we're underwater right now. So I'm really feeling the pressure. Okay, so it turns out Big Ed might be in debt and he might already not be telling Liz everything she needs to know. That is a great ender to the episode. Fantastic. We have some financial woes. Apparently, that is the biggest breakup for divorces. Money problems. I didn't know that. I thought it was regular old, I hate you, just cause. I didn't know that. I, no, I'm not married. I don't. To get this real estate deal off the ground, I need an income stream. And that is how the episode ends. That's the first of Big Ed and Liz. A lot to unpack there. They're getting married. They're going into business. They have Riley there. They've got three dogs now. I guess they multiplied. And uh, they're also probably in debt. You add that all together, you get a season full of what? And a conclusion filled with, oh, that makes sense. But if you didn't think there was enough fighting on this episode, I left the preview in for episode two and it turns out they're already fighting. And the one thing I hate more than anything is when people fight in front of their kids, but Big Ed and Liz don't seem to care, so. You're getting flour everywhere. There was no mess. Mommy's being a crybaby. Neither of us want to fight in front of Riley. Neither of us want to fight in front of Riley, but she's got to learn what marriage looks like. And I'm going to fight the hell out of this guy, okay? I'm going to fight him physically if he doesn't shut the hell up. I didn't put flour anywhere. We still have issues. You're pouting and stop. you're ruining the event. You stop being a brat because you're ruining it. As there it is. That's episode two. Can't wait. It should be fun. Until then, I I guess I'll say bye, but I hope you join me on this final series, the final voyage, and it's 95% gonna end in divorce, so. If you wanna watch more Big Ed content, I have a whole series and a video where I actually turn into him for a day. Check that out, tell me how it is. Thank you so much, I hope that you enjoy the series. I will continue to see you here for the weeks to come. Take care, bye bye.